The advanced aerial refueling boom has undergone various tests as demonstrated on the new KC-10 tanker. A number of different aircraft have been involved as test receivers. The new electronic boom controls replace manual controls, thus giving the operator greater control. Here, a C-5 Galaxy cargo aircraft proves boom compatibility in its initial contact tests. This is the universal aerial refueling receptacle slideway installation, which will become standard on most aircraft. The advanced aerial refueling boom also increases the separation distance between tankers and receivers. This makes the refueling faster and easier. For some time, the Air Force has been testing, evaluating, and improving the aerial refueling of its aircraft, thereby extending the various aircraft in performing their missions. The advanced aerial refueling boom has undergone tests for tracking, deployment, and stability which involved retracting, automatic loading, and increased fuel flow. The boom is controlled through a fly-by-wire system that uses electronics in place of manual pressure. The boom operator has greater control, and the electronic system allows him to better use the boom's large maneuvering capability. The KC-10 will also have the probe and drogue refueling equipment for use with Navy and NATO aircraft. Other tests of the advanced aerial refueling boom on KC-135 tankers included different altitudes, air speeds, fuel systems qualifications, and receiver compatibility tests on various aircraft. The advanced aerial refueling boom proved to be a significant improvement over previous booms. This is another example of Air Force planned improvement and modernization for the future.